Test drive this mug in sports mode. I had it for about a week. I'm still breaking it in a little bit though. Alright, I'll see y'all on the other side. So what's up y'all? I just wanted to bring y'all out to my truck parking spot. Uh, I don't own this spot, but this is just a spot where I, uh, I park my trucks in Atlanta. Um I got I got some of my trucks here and some of my trucks at another spot because this spot kind of getting filled up. But yeah, I just kind of want to give y'all a little a little tour of of like the equipment that we have because I got a few I brought some of my trucks in for a company meeting so just follow me and I'll just check out some, um, some of the equipment that I got so I can show y'all that um I got I got rental trucks and I got um, a company truck over there if you look over there um over that way there is another one of my units over there it's a, it's a day cab rental truck um and if y'all can see over there too those those two of those trailers not the one in the middle but those two trailers on the inner JB Hunt trailers because we actually um, move with some of their trailers too. And then right over here, we, um, I, I kind of want to jump to showing y'all um, um, some of my company trailers that I own. So if you guys can see my company trailer, big third out logo on there. And um, 53 foot drive van. This, this one, this a, um, I want to um, say, if you come in and look, if you if you guys ever have a trailer, um, if it's a box truck, you can look at the serial number and it'll tell you everything about the trailer, like where the, the dimensions and everything like that. On here, you can see this a Vanguard. It, 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 it's dated um, 2015. It's really going to be rated at 2016 because 2016 was made in 2015, essentially. So um, so that's that part. And let's go over here to the truck. So here, here's another... Here's, a, uh, here's another JB Hunt um, rental truck. As you can see, it's an uh, Amazon rental trailer. This, these are ones that we use to run run some of the Amazon that we do through um, JB Hunt. There's another JB Hunt trailer right here that we use. So we use a lot of their trailers because we got dedicated freight with them. So also, like I said, here's another one of my company trailers right there. And then here's another one of my company trailers right here. Um, you can see the third eye logo on there and um so we could start so here's a rider unit right here you you can invest in you some of these magnets if you get um a, a rider truck because you're gonna have to have something on the side of the truck that's branded for it being you know a truck that your company running they'll let you get get away with it for like a warning but just know that you need to have your company on the side of it and also make sure you keep your rental agreement inside of there too as well with your company name on it so all right, guys, follow me over here to this next truck. Here's one of my company trucks right here. Here's one that I um that I call Big Red. Um, as you can see, I got like the numbers. I'm trying to get a little more of the aesthetics, but I know I ain't gonna have company trucks for long because I'm trying to lease them all and, and rent them all. But this kind of like how I got my stickers on it. Um, it got this weird, this weird like door, so I, it, it can't go flat. So we just put the numbers right here. And then we just threw the um the logo, and of course you, it, it switches the color pattern because um of course the truck is red, but my logo is is um is red too. So I had to have them just flip the logo to white on here. But this is a, this is a 2015 unit um, Cascadia, um big um it's an automatic. It got pretty much a lot of the um pretty much all of the bells and whistles the drivers. Like some of them don't like some of my smaller units. I got 4904s in the shop. Um, I got to figure out where 49, um, 4907 is parked at out here um, somewhere. But this is the general spot where all my trucks are parked. Um, let's go over here 
and I'm gonna see if I can go find out where um, 4904 is. Uh, of course, uh, I don't I don't be out here that much. I just come to check on stuff every now and then. But um, yeah, I mean, so you can find you a truck spot, and so this is the solution for you guys as far as if you wondering where you park your trucks if you got a fleet. You don't have to necessarily buy a, a, a big space or a warehouse or anything like that in order to store your stuff. You could just, I paid two twenty five for each individual truck and trailer combo. And then if I park a truck by itself, 150 flat, box truck or, um, box truck or, or semi. All right, so we gonna go and we gonna try to um, find out where this other truck is at. Uh, I'm not sure even why these trucks are parked up here because this is really for trailers for like a trailer drop but like I said sometimes the drivers just kind of do certain things that I be thinking be silly but I mean hey they still making me money so sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do So yeah, so I found where my other truck was parked. It's right here. Um, and um, it's, this is like a smaller version. Like, so I got the red truck that's big. I got two company trucks that, that look just they're identical to this. Some of the taller drivers don't really like getting into these. And, and um, this is a manual and the other twin of it is a manual too. Um, they don't like the mid roof. So sometimes you might wanna, you might wanna stick with the, the um, truck like my big truck the, with the taller roof because taller drivers kind of you know they be scrammed in there because the seat is so close to the back but you can as you can see my um my truck is hooked up to a jb hunt trailer so a lot of times we run power only even though i own my own trailers i typically rent my trailers out to other people and just use jb hunt trailers because if i can make 7500 a week using their trailers 2000 a month renting mine to me that just makes sense right now until peak season when we can make more money on our own trailers running them ourselves so sometimes owning ain't always better you know sometimes power only just pays the best bill but yeah so as you can see um as you can see clean flat we just you know we just get the logos um on here make sure you get it um this probably costs like 40 dollars a piece uh, i got it done at fast signs if you want to you know go with them to get it done or if you got somewhere else it really don't matter um who you who you go to and make sure you get your IFTA stickers right here make sure they current and i just kind of got this sticker to just let them know that we running geo tabs in her truck is pretty clean right now i probably have them to go get it washed again it's not clean enough clean trucks just get pulled over less i mean that's, that's just been a fact of being in the game four and a half years clean trucks just always get get pulled over less let me see if they lock on my doors or not they not yeah, so this is the inside of the truck. I'll let y'all get a sneak peek at. Uh, I ain't gonna say which driver this is, but um, so this is this is why I said how small it is. He a big guy, and this is definitely um, super super close for him to um, for him to be in. But it, it ain't too junky. I, I seen drivers with way more junky. So this is like I said, this is a manual. So um, yeah. All right, guys, so that's just a tour, kind of like where we park the trucks and of some of the trucks you can see and on some of the trailers and how we run. Um, as you can see, is this is a this is a facility that got several um, several other companies parked up here too as well. You know, um, everybody just paying. It would be a really good investment to own one of these spots, to be honest. But all right, y'all, it's just a quick YouTube video tutorial of just Kind of like where 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 to park your trucks, 
um, where to park your trailers and um, you know just how much it costs type of stuff I go through with the drivers and, and the trucks and where they at and of course you know I wanted to do a little bit you know test out my new toy at 392 so you know all right y'all peace